and welcome. This video is going to be a very quick unboxing. I discovered in 2022 that there is something on Poshmark called campaigns. I discovered this through an Instagram post that Becky Park on Poshmark shared. If you go into your Poshmark app, which I'll put over here so you can see, and click on your profile and then go to your seller tools, there is something called My Campaigns. And if you click on My Campaigns, Poshmark actually gives monetary incentives for listing in certain categories. And uh, I really wish I had known about this sooner. I double checked with my friend um, Victoria over at Super Geeked and she's like, yeah, they've been doing these for a while. They actually used to pay you more. So I stopped doing them and I was like, they pay me at all to do something I already should be doing, which is listing on Poshmark. Uh, so I did that and I ended up with $30 in credit as you saw. I decided what better way to use my $30 Poshmark credit than to buy something from one of my reseller friends. My friend Jess over at Gorgeous is trying to get away from vintage and so she got all these mystery boxes together and you all know I love selling vintage so I bought one. And this, this I'm unboxing it so I do kind of know what's in here. I the reason I picked this one is because I knew that there were going to be some vintage wool hats and hello, I love hats. I also really love selling vintage hats. I've, I sell them pretty regularly and pretty well. And this is what I was hoping for. Excellent. So this has some sun damage on the felting. It has kind of bleached it out. There's two here. There's this blue one, and yeah, so this is 100% wool. So this unfortunately does appear to have some sun damage here. And then we have this gray one. This is a union made one, ooh, beautiful. And they're from the same company, Lancaster. Let's see if the gray one will fit my giant head, probably not. Oh, it does fit my giant head. Heck yeah. All right. Is it is it a great hat? No, it definitely, oh look, now I can look like Blossom. This is actually just giving me 10 out of 10 Blossom vibes. I'm okay with this. All right. <laughs> but that's really cool. So this one with the damage, I might have to see if I could fix the felt or not. Are they both the same size? Cause that would be, they are both the same size. I actually think this might be how you're supposed to wear this, this style of hat. Just the full on blossom style. That's so cool. I'm so glad these both fit. Even though I'm, I am just going to sell them. I, I'm going to have to try to fix that, but that's awesome. That's honestly really why I bought those is cause I knew no matter what, I would be able to make my money back there. And we're going to excuse my hat hair, please. It's uh, very cold out here, and so I've just been wearing a hat the whole time. Also, I have a spot right here on my head from where I hit my head on an open cabinet door because I am accident prone. All right, the next thing is a pair of what looks like old lady pants. There's nothing wrong with old lady pants. These are a pair of Worthingtons, and these are new with tags. Where are you? Oh, this is a side zipper. Um, cool. These are a eight made in the USA. Hopefully I can put these on just so that way I can model them. I find that selling vintage is a lot easier if someone can see what it looks like on a body. So I do try to model most of my vintage if I can finagle it on my body. This is a, looks like a disc, look at this shirt. Wow. Wow. Somebody is going to want that. Wow. I sound like Owen Wilson. Wow. I don't so this is from JCPenney. 
I'm guessing this is like from the, the late 90s. Look at that shirt. It's an interesting iridescence. This will fit me, so I can definitely put this on and try this out. Oh my goodness. This is quite the cottagecore dress with the biggest, oh my goodness, these are giant. These are, this, look at, look at this. This is a, a whole boob worth of padding here. Um, <laughs> but this is extremely cottagecore, extremely granny style. I, I, I might have to take the shoulder pads out because I think that's the only way this is going to get on my body. Yeah, because this is a 5.6. Oh, but look at the pattern. This does actually have the belt. I was like, I saw the belt loops. Man, that's so cool. So it has the original belt, which is amazing. And I'm surprised this isn't like a regular tie, but dude, that's so cool. Yes, I will definitely model this. And it's new with tags. So that's fabulous. This is new with tags. I'm guessing these hats are also new. And then we got this. And then there is a blazer of some kind. Oh no, it is not a blazer. It is a double breasted suit set from Casper. Also looks to be from the 90s. The navy suit set with mm, a wiggle skirt. See the slit back there in the back. So this is a, that's cool. I can put this on as well to model it, but this is made in Taiwan. It still has the non-removable shoulder pads. So I'm not quite sure how well that's gonna work out, but I might just throw this up on Etsy for like 20 bucks and someone might want it. Originally this suit was $220. Wow. Wow. The number of Casper suits that I find in the thrift store that I pass by and someone in the 90s, in the 80s and 90s was paying like $200 for them. That just blows my mind. But yeah, this is, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, one, I'm excited that they fit. Uh, two, thank you, Jessie, for giving me a great deal on this vintage box. She saw I liked it. And then she was like, she sent me a generous offer to take this off her hands. She does have some more of these mystery vintage boxes. So I will link her closet in a pinned comment down below. I hope she's okay with that. Um, just in case you're interested in buying a vintage mystery box from her. But I am very happy. And thank you guys so much for watching this quick little video. And I definitely need to go get all this listed. And hopefully you guys will see it in a sold video soon. But until then, 